imagine the startup pitching its product or trying to do user feedback to creators similar to people serving restaurants, where it's like, I am bombarded by both customer service requests. And then there's a thousand startups in San Francisco that want to be my point of sale service. So what kind of gap does that create where creators are not able to talk to the startups that are hoping to make change for them. It's unfortunate for both parties, right? It's like a all loss scenario where some founders may be creating tools that might actually help creators, but creators are unable to see this or it gets blended into noise that they're unable to trust it or see it properly. And then on the founder's perspective, if they don't get proper feedback, they might spend a bunch of time building a product only to find out that either creators are unwilling to pay for it or literally unable to pay for it in many cases, right? So if you're going after smaller creators and charge them, maybe they're actually unable to pay for a product like that, even if it's valuable. So I think, you know, this communication, bridging that will be really important, which, which is a part of what Flub was trying to do, right? If we can curate a community of creators, you know, continuing to be a part of this, then we can learn a little bit more about how they interact with the product, what sort of needs that they may have, and then make the right introductions to the right sort of tools for them. 